hope you're having a dope ass day. It's your boy Alex and I am back today with another reaction video and you know I gotta build up this energy because some of y'all are lacking some energy. Hi. And some of y'all just have bad days. I had a bad day yesterday. Cause you had a bad day. You no, take God. Down. You sing a sad song. No, just to God, it please, out. no. You say we all have bad days, so maybe just take this five to seven minutes of this video, maybe nine to ten, I don't know how long it's gonna be, but, you know, take a little break from life, crack open a drink, grab a snack, and enjoy this, and let me be the energy for you, so you can take a load off your feet. Anyway, today's about to be dope as hell, because I am gonna be, re or we, I should say, are gonna be reacting to another Slipknot song. So many of you guys have been asking me to react to Psychosocial, and here I am reacting to Psychosocial. I could not be more thrilled, and before we get started, I wanna take the time to say that my channel has experienced a lot of growth since I started doing metal reactions. I just want to take the time to say welcome new subscribers and everyone who's been a subscriber to me for a long period of time knows this but these new subscribers don't is that I want this channel to be more than just a reaction channel. I want it to be more than y'all coming here and watching me react to some goofy ass music um, whether it be rap or metal or k-pop or whatever the hell. I'm on every social media just about. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. You can hit me up on any platform. Talk to me. If you're going through some stuff I am here to listen. I've gone through some traumatic times in my life you know, just, just to let y'all know that I can relate in some aspects, but y'all are family. You join my channel. We are a unit. We are a family. We are a pack. I just added two more guys to my wolf pack. Hit me up on any social media if you want to talk. Not even about music, about anything. I'm here for you. With that being said, let's get it. Link to the original video will be down below in the description. Y'all make sure to check it out if you want to. Psychosocial. <sighs> let's go. as hell not like they don't normally or that they're not hard in every song but they're coming out the gate swinging baby let's get it Um, this music video looks like a horror movie. I have developed a liking to Slipknot, and I'm sure that that liking will build. Basically me trying to say that I know that these guys are musicians, and they're very cool guys. I've seen some interviews with them, but I would be scared as hell to be there. That looks like a creepy ass scene. Ooh, I like that singing. This is dope as hell, bro. I like the aspect that he had the more melodic singing with this hard ass drums and guitar going on in the background. This is fucking sick. That's so clean!
That was dope ass editing. Yo, real quick, I know that there are probably bands with way bigger setups, but I am so baffled. You need to chill out, Coop, with all that shaking, y'all. Yeah? You're messing up the audio. You're so cute. I always get super interested in drum sets because it's like, I just love seeing this giant array of different drums and cymbals everywhere. It's crazy, bro. That looks like a wild drum set, man. That is the setup, it looks like. And I know you are gonna drop some comments being like, if you wanna see drum setup, you should check out this band, but Credit where it's due, dope as hell. Let's continue. That is so clean! Wow. So hyped. Wow, that was crazy, bro. That was a cool, super cool, like, entire package. Um, I feel like the video mirrored the song well because in the song you had these, like, extreme differences. You had the craziness and intensity of the drums and the guitars in the back. Plus, like, the, well, he, Corey Taylor was screaming, but there were the, that melodic aspect. Which, like, bounced each other out really nicely. And that paralleled with the video of how it was, like, this crazy, fast, intense scenes coupled with these slow motion scenes that really just added a nice balance to it. From a video perspective, it was great. From a musical perspective, the song was great. This was super, super cool. Let's dive into these lyrics real quick. <laughs> I feel like at a very basic, dumbed down, quick version, he's pretty much saying that sometimes life sucks. And sometimes what makes life suck is like society. There's a broken society, it leads to life sucking. That's essentially what I got from the song. And then it goes down in parts of the chorus, um, it, said, it repeats psychosocial, psychosocial, psychosocial. So, break those down, what does that mean? You got the social aspect of it, you got society, you got life as we know it as a whole, is pretty much psycho as hell. It seems, especially nowadays, that if someone's feelings are gonna be hurt, you can't say it. Everybody's so worried about offending people and being politically correct, but how are you supposed to talk about pressing issues? Like, not only are we trying to make everything everybody friendly, that also leads us to not being able to talk about important issues. Like, if we bring, if someone says something about a black person, or a Mexican person, or a white person, the first thing anyone is gonna pretty much say is, you racist? Are you racist, boy? That's psychosocial. That seems to be a crazy society that leads to life sucking that we can't even talk about issues without people getting offended. The song might have gone over my head, but that's what I got from it. Drop some comments down below. Let me know if you agree with me or if I got it wrong. Let me know what you think about this. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Keep smiling, keep being yourself. Don't let anybody throw shade at you. I will see you tomorrow. That's a mother facto. Peace. In the rain, kill the song.